Have you ever wondered why credit scores matter so much? Well, let's dive into this financial mystery together. Credit scores in a nutshell are like the heartbeat of your financial health. They're numerical summaries that give a quick snapshot of your credit worthiness. Now you might be thinking, how exactly is this credit score calculated? Great question. Imagine your credit score is a pie, a financial pie. This pie is divided into five slices, each representing a different factor that contributes to your credit score. The first and most significant slice of this pie is your payment history, accounting for about 35%. This looks at whether you've been punctual with your past credit payments, late or missed payments, they could lead to a lower score. The next slice, which is roughly 30% of the pie, is your credit utilization. This refers to how much of your available credit you're actually using. Lower utilization usually equals a higher score. Then we have the length of your credit history, making up about 15% of your score. The longer your credit history, the better it is for your score. Lenders love to see that you've been handling credit responsibly over a long period. The last two slices of our financial pie, each accounting for around 10%, are your new credit and credit mix. Opening several new credit accounts in a short time can lower your score. Additionally, having a mix of credit types like credit cards, mortgage loans, and car loans can actually boost your score. So, in essence, your credit score is a complex calculation that takes into account all these factors. It's not just about how much money you have but how well you manage it. Remember, your credit score is like your financial report card. It tells lenders how risky it is to lend money to you. So, just like in school you'd want to aim for good grades or in this case, a good credit score. This way, you'll have more financial doors open to you in the future. Why should you care about your credit score? Well, imagine it as your financial report card, an essential evaluation that potential lenders, landlords, and sometimes even employers use to assess your credit worthiness. It's a three-digit number that speaks volumes about your financial habits, and it can dramatically affect your life in ways you may not even realize. Let's start with borrowing money. Whether you're applying for a credit card, seeking a mortgage for a new home, or thinking about that shiny new car you've been eyeing, your credit score plays a pivotal role. The better your score, the more likely you are to be approved for loans. And not just that, a high credit score also translates to lower interest rates, which means you'll be paying less over time. Now let's talk about renting. When you're filling out an application for a new apartment, your potential landlord will likely check your credit score. It's their way of determining if you're likely to pay your rent on time. If your score is low, they might think twice about renting to you, or they might ask for a higher security deposit. But the influence of credit scores doesn't stop at borrowing and renting. A stellar credit score can even make you a more attractive job candidate. Some employers, especially in industries like finance, check credit scores as part of the hiring process. A good credit score can indicate responsibility and good financial management, qualities that employers appreciate, and let's not forget about insurance. Some insurance companies use credit scores to determine premiums. A lower score could mean higher premiums, meaning you could end up paying more for the same coverage. Maintaining a good credit score is like keeping up a solid reputation. It's a reflection of your financial reliability and can significantly impact your access to various opportunities. It's a simple number, but its effects are far-reaching. In a nutshell, your credit score opens or closes doors to financial opportunities. So why should you care about your credit score? Because it's a key that can unlock a world of possibilities. So what is considered a good credit score? Well, that's a great question. Let's dive into the world of credit score ranges to give you a clear picture. Credit scores are typically measured on a scale ranging from 300 to 850. But it's not just about the numbers. Each range represents a different level of credit worthiness, and this can have a significant impact on your financial prospects. Let's start at the bottom of the scale. A credit score below 579 is considered poor. With this score, it's likely that lenders will consider you a high risk, which could mean higher interest rates or even declined applications. Then we move into the fair range, which spans from 580 to 669. Here, lenders might be more willing to extend credit, but you'll still be faced with less than ideal terms. Next up is the good range, which is from 670 to 739. If you're in this bracket, you represent a lower risk to lenders. This could translate into better interest rates and more favorable terms on loans and credit cards. The very good range is from 740 to 799. Here, you're likely to get even better terms and interest rates. Lenders see you as a very reliable borrower. Finally, we have the excellent range, 
which is anything above 800. This is the holy grail of credit scores. With an excellent score, you're seen as an extremely low risk. You'll likely qualify for the best interest rates and terms available. But remember, these ranges are not set in stone and different lenders may have slightly different interpretations. Nevertheless, they provide a useful guideline for understanding your credit worthiness. Knowing where you stand on the credit score scale is the first step towards improving your financial health. So take the time to understand your credit score range because it's not just a number, it's a reflection of your financial behavior. What can you do to improve your credit score? Well, let's dive into some key strategies that can help you boost your credit score. It's important to remember that improving your credit score isn't a quick fix. It's a gradual process that requires consistency and good financial habits. First off, one of the most effective ways to improve your credit score is to ensure timely payments of your bills. Late or missed payments can negatively impact your credit score. So, make it a habit to pay your bills on time, every time. Consider setting up automatic payments or reminders to help you stay on top of your bills. Secondly, reducing your overall debt is crucial. This might seem like a daunting task, but every little bit helps. Start by making a list of all your debts, then create a realistic repayment plan. You might be surprised at how quickly your debt can decrease and your credit score can improve with consistent, regular payments. Now avoiding new debt might seem like a no-brainer, but it's easier said than done. It's tempting to take on new debt, especially with all the enticing credit card offers out there. However, remember that every debt you take on is a commitment to pay back and more debt can potentially harm your credit score. So before you take on new debt, ask yourself if it's truly necessary and if you can realistically pay it back. Lastly, regularly review your credit reports for errors. You'd be surprised at how often mistakes can occur. If you spot any inaccuracies, report them immediately. This can prevent you from being unfairly penalized and can help ensure your credit score reflects your true credit worthiness. Remember, these strategies are not overnight solutions. They require time, patience, and a commitment to maintaining good financial habits. But with persistence and discipline, you can see a significant improvement in your credit score. Boosting your credit score isn't a one-time effort, it's a continuous journey. Stick with it, and over time, you'll reap the rewards of a stronger credit score. What happens if you have a poor credit score? This is a question that we hope to never ask ourselves, but it's an important one nonetheless. A bad credit score can have a ripple effect on various aspects of your life, and understanding these potential impacts is vital. Firstly, let's talk about interest rates. When you're seeking out a loan or a credit card, your credit score is one of the first things lenders look at. A lower credit score can often signal to lenders that you're a riskier borrower, and as a result, they may charge you higher interest rates to offset this risk. This means that over the life of a loan, you could end up paying significantly more than you would have with a better credit score. Next, let's discuss loan and credit card applications. A poor credit score can lead to rejections when applying for these financial products. Lenders may deem you too much of a risk and decide not to lend to you, leaving you with fewer options when it comes to financial assistance. Moving on to rental applications, a bad credit score can also cause a hurdle here. Landlords often check potential tenants' credit scores, and a lower score might lead them to believe you're less likely to pay your rent on time. This could result in your application being rejected, or you may be asked to provide a higher security deposit. Finally, it's worth mentioning that some employers also perform credit checks, especially for positions that involve handling money. A bad credit score could potentially hurt your chances of getting a job, or it could even impact your current employment if regular checks are conducted. In conclusion, a bad credit score can impact your life in many ways, beyond just getting a loan or a credit card. It can lead to higher costs, fewer opportunities, and unexpected roadblocks. A poor credit score can be a financial roadblock, but remember, it's never too late to start rebuilding your credit. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.